Welcome to the spoken tutorial on slideshow creation in LibreOffice Impress. In this tutorial, we will learn about creating slideshows, slide transitions, and automatic slideshows. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Slideshows are usually used to present slides before an audience. It can be shown on a desktop, laptop or projector. Slideshows occupy the entire computer screen. Presentations cannot be edited in the slideshow mode. Slideshows are for display purpose only. Let's open our presentation sample-impress.odp. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Let's learn how to view this presentation as a slideshow. Locate the Start from First Slide icon in the standard toolbar. Notice the tooltip on the icon displays the shortcut key F5 to start the slideshow. By clicking on the Start from First Slide, the presentation is now displayed as a slideshow. In slideshow mode, we can navigate between slides by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The right arrow key takes us to the next slide one after the other. The left arrow key takes us to the previous slide one before the other. At any time to exit the slideshow, right click for the context menu. Then select the end show option. Another method to start the slideshow is to click on the slideshow menu in the menu bar and then click on the start from first slide option. Another way to exit the slideshow is by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Next, let's learn how to use the mouse pointer as a pen. Let's enable this option and see how it works. Click on the slideshow menu in the menu bar and then on the slideshow settings option. The slideshow settings dialog box appears. Under options, check the boxes for mouse pointer visible and mouse pointer as pen. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now start the slideshow by pressing the F5 key. Notice that the mouse pointer now turned into a pen. This option allows us to mark or draw on the presentation while in the slideshow mode. Let's draw a tick mark before the title Benefit of Open Source in slide 1. Press the left mouse button and drag on the slide to do so. We can also advance to the next slide by pressing the space bar or enter key on the keyboard. Let's exit the slideshow by pressing the escape key. We can start the slideshow from the current slide displayed in the workspace as well. To do this, click on the start from current slide icon in the standard toolbar. Alternatively, you can do this by clicking on the slideshow menu in the menu bar, then click on the start from current slide option. Notice that this time the slideshow started from the slide titled Table of Contents. Let's exit the slideshow. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Open practice-impress.odp file. Use the mouse pointer as a pen to draw a small diagram on any slide. Next, let's learn about slide transitions. What are slide transitions? Transitions are effects 
that are applied to slides as we move or transition from one slide to the next in a presentation. Click on the Slide Sorter tab in the workspace. All the slides in the presentation are displayed here. Let's learn how to add different transitions to each slide in one go. From the Slide Sorter view, select the first slide. Go to the sidebar and click on the icon named Slide Transition. In the Slide Transition section, we can see a list of transition effects available for use. I will select the Wipe Transition. Notice that the preview of the selected transition effect is displayed in the workspace. This is because the automatic preview checkbox is selected by default in the section. We can also modify the selected transition effect through the Modify Transitions subsection. By default, the Variant field is set to Bottom to Top. This means the transition starts from the bottom and moves to the top as it progresses. By clicking on the drop-down, we can choose any other variant of your choice. Now, let's set a sound to this transition. Click on the sound drop-down and select Applause. Now, let's select the second slide. Go to the Slide Transition section and click on the Wheel Transition. Under the Modify Transition subsection, click on the Variant drop-down. Scroll and select Clockwise 8 Spokes. Next, click on the Sound drop-down and select Upper. Again, we see the preview of the transition effect we have made. We have now learned how to animate and add a sound effect to a slide transition. Let us now learn how to create a presentation that advances automatically. Under the Modify Transition subsection, check the Loop Until Next Sound. Now, under the Advanced Slide subsection, click on the radio button automatically after. Here, notice that the time is set as 1 second. Lastly, click on the Apply Transitions to All Slides button. Clicking on this button applies the same transition for all the slides. This way, we need not add transitions for each slide individually. Let's start the slideshow now to see all these customized effects. Notice that the slides advance automatically with a time interval of 1 second. Let's exit the slideshow. Now we will learn to create presentations that advance automatically but with different display times for each slide. This is useful when the content of some slides in the presentation are longer. From the workspace, let's select the second slide. Under the Slide Transitions section, go to the Advanced Slide subsection. In the Automatically After field, set the time to 2 seconds. Let's select the third slide and set the time to 3 seconds. Let's select the fourth slide and set the time to 4 seconds. Let's start the slideshow. Notice that each slide is displayed for different lengths of time that we specified. Let's exit the slideshow. Let's return to the normal tab and close the slide transition section. Let us save all changes for future use and then close the presentation file. With this, we have come to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. 
In this tutorial, we have learnt about slide shows, slide transitions, automatic slide shows with fixed time intervals, automatic slide shows with different time intervals. As an assignment, open practice-impress.odp file. Add slide transitions, wheel to slide 2, shape to slide 3 with a gong sound. Create an automatic slide show. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This Spoken Tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.